Hi everyone and welcome to this video. It's time to do a review and try this Obsession palette, Warm Up. I think this palette looks beautiful. I love the shades. It kind of reminds me of Mono Renaissance a little bit, but I haven't compared those two. I haven't swatched this one. I just want to swatch it and review it first time in this video. I unfortunately forgot to use this You Got This palette on my face today and I know I did promise that when I uh, reviewed the other two palettes, the Cool Down and um, Love Every Shade. Uh, so I did use uh, this, pa sorry, this palette all over my face last two times, but I, when I was in the middle of making, doing my makeup, I remembered that I forgot this one. So if you're interested to see how this one looks on my skin or how it blends or how the shade looks, please check out the other Obsession palettes review. So check that video out. But on my face today, I do have this Lava Art foundation. I did set it together with this L'Oreal True Match Minerals Powder. I did use this palette to contour this bronzer. This is... Uh, uh, Wet and Wild. <laughs> this is Wet and Wild bronzer. I also used this um, Maybelline Master Chrome in rose gold as a highlighter, and I also used the blush. Where is the blush? Oh, this one, Too, Too Faced Peach, Peach blush. I love this blush. So I did use uh, that on my skin, and I already prepped my eyes. I used one of my favorite eyeshadow primers. This is Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer from Wet n Wild. And also because this doesn't have any coverage, eyelids need some coverage. I use this Revolution Pro Eye Element Core over it. And it's a little bit drying, kind of hard to work with over this, uh, this primer because this primer dries down matte. But I made it work. And I did set that also with the powder. That's all the product that I have on my skin. But today we are going to use this on the eyes. Oh, I forgot to say about the lip lipstick. Lipstick lipstick that I have on my lips today is uh, Jeffree Star. This is in Rose Matter. I love this one. I think it goes well with the palette. Okay, so let me swatch this palette. Ooh, they, they feel a little bit dry. And I do did find that you do need to use a spray with these uh, metallic shades to make them work and pop on the eyes. Oh, this one I like a lot. As you can see, uh, this one is a little bit patchy, but it blends nice. This metallic shade or um, shimmer shade doesn't want to swatch beautifully with the finger, but you do need to use a setting spray or wet your brush. I use this with these shades and they work beautifully. I love this spray. I don't know if it's better than the other uh, setting sprays that I use, but I think it is a little bit better. Okay, let's take the second row. Let me take. Let's take away these colors. So I'll try to use as many shades. My camera doesn't want to work with me today. I like this gold one. Beautiful. Okay, so let's uh, put these shades on the eyes. So I'm going to zoom you in guys and if you're interested to see what makeup look I will create and how it will work on my eyes, then please keep on watching. So first I'm going to use this shade. This is called Crave in the crease. It is a little bit powdery. You do need to build up these shades, the pigmentation. My eyelid looks a little bit dry because I used this Revolution Pro Eye Element Core over the Wet n Wild Primer. But the, after a couple of hours, I promise it will look much better when my oils come through a little bit, not too much because that will ruin my eyeshadow. Then with the same brush, I'm going to take this jump. This is a beautiful shade. It looks a little bit, not shimmery, but like satin finish, and it's very powdery. Okay. 
Then I'm going to take this brush, this is number six from BH Cosmetics, and I'm going to go into, oh, I think this power, this shade here, power, and build that right into the crease. Then I'm going to take a very small blending brush and take this Flex or Flix, I don't know how to pronounce all of these shades and put that right into the crease. Then I want to go back with the number six brush and take this red power again and uh, just build it up more in the crease. I want this red to pop, so I'm going to put that power again a little bit in my crease. Then I'm going to go back with this small blending brush and I'm going to take this twist, this last shade, the darkest in the palette, They are powdery, but no fallout. But I do tap my brush before I go in with the eyeshadow on the eyelids. So I'm going to take a flat brush and I'm going to take this noise shade, the pink all over my eyelid. So I'm going to pick that shade up on the brush and I'm going to wet it to, with this spray, Pigment Boost Fix, Fixing Spray. Really like this spray. Take more of that shade again. Hmm. There you go. Oh, this is a beautiful shade. F a fallout. This one I feel like I need to build up more than I had to with those matte shades. I don't know why is that, but... The other shimmer, shimmery shades in the other palettes were much easier to work with when you wet them. Okay, this is one million years later. Uh, let me say, I'm not finished with the makeup look, but I just want to say this before I forgot. I found that these matte shades, these five that I used on the eyelid before I went in with this shade, are more pigmented than the other shade in the other palettes, more than other matte shades. But this shade here, uh, it's a very beautiful shade, but it is so hard to build up even when I wet the brush. I don't know why it doesn't work with the finger. I'm kind of disappointed because I really like this shade, but it took me so long to build it up. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. We are going to continue to use it. Uh, I'm going to take a mix of this shade here and this shade on my lower lash line. And I'm going to clean up the brush that I use for applying the pink one. And I'm going to wet the brush and uh, I'm going to take this gold shade and put it close to my lower lash line. Yeah, this one is showing much better. I don't know if you can see it. Then I'm going to go into the this one, the penny shade, on the other side of that wet brush. Oh, this one is pigmented. And then I'm going to clean this brush again and go in with twist the darkest shade 
and just bring it here in the corner. Then I'm going to take this Isadora Inliner Kayal in uh, blonde and put that in my waterline. Okay, so I'm going to put mascara on. I won't put any lashes and I'll be right back. So I did put some mascara on. I did use two coats of this Essence Lash Princess mascara that I got from my friend Valerie in a box swap that we did a couple of months ago. And I'm going to go into this with You Got This palette and uh, put some uh, light shade or this highlighter shade in the corner. I think I'm going to use this Ambition and put that right here. Yeah, this one works nice. And take it a bit under my eyebrow. Say what I think about warm up palette. I really, really like this palette and I think it's worth the money. It's not expensive palette. Though you do need to have in mind that you do need a little bit of work time with this shade. Uh, and I think it turned out beautiful. I just am a little bit disappointed in that shade because this one, this shade looks so nice. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe just the first layer you need to take off before. I don't know, it's watching better right now. It's a little bit powdery palette, but I think it's worth the money. I love this shade, this gold. I think I am going to use this one in another makeup look. Look how beautiful this shade and it swatches much, much better than the pink, pink one. So I do like this shade. I really like all of the four palettes. So I do recommend them. I think they're beautiful and I love uh, that you can see what shades. They're definitely worth the money. They're not expensive. Uh, yeah, you just need to build up the matte shades. And of course, wet the brush when you use the, not metallic, but the shimmery shades. So guys, uh, that was everything. Please let me know down below if you tried any of these palettes and what you think about them. These are my first Obsession palette, Obsession Makeup uh, London palettes. I do have the blush palette and I do like it, but uh, I uh, never tried any of the eyeshadows until now. So guys, I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know every time I, up I upload. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!